I just took a shower, so don't mind the mess. What can you do? What do you need to do? Ah, the usual. I'm gonna go guard, and that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? It's your pal Mega Snoop bringing you another Toon Town video today. And in today's video, I'm again just doing some little bit of TTR gameplay. Probably won't just stop at the flowers. I'll get around to other stuff. But I did have a lot that I wanted to talk about, at least a broad topic, that is. And that is Toontown in 2022. And I need to make a mental note of saying 2022. I know there's gonna be a point in time where I say 2021, and I don't wanna go back and have to edit the video or re-record it. I just wanna have it one and go and be done and be like, here you go, YouTube. But I'm gonna say 2021. I know it's inevitable. 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022, 2022. But 2021 was actually a pretty remarkable year for both the Towns, where Toontown Corporate Clash brought out the OCLO along with a big overhaul of their entire game, changing things like the way Unites work, the way SOS cards work. A lot has been innovated and changed there. And then TTR actually took a step forward and did the same thing as well. You have a lot of new stuff that TTR did. They overhauled their UI. They did things like they added a new reward you can use. They rebalanced trap and tune-up, which is something I didn't think they would ever do. So to be able to see that TTR would do something like that gives me hope now that 2022 can actually be a good year for both of these games. What do I see coming from these games? That's hard to see because at the moment we don't have a clear path. I'm actually not the first person to make this video, so if you want a little bit more information, you can go check out Shumi's video where she talked about specifically TTR. I was just watching that before I sat down and started recording this one. And apparently she had somebody reach out to Joey, and in that DM, Joey was making it very clear that they don't have any large updates that they plan on doing this year, especially because it takes them a good amount of time to push out a large update. Not that there will be no updates, just no large updates. So if you're expecting something the size of field offices to come out again this year, not gonna happen. I mean, look how long it took for them to do field offices in general, right? Can you expect them to duplicate that in less than a year? Probably not. But what I do expect from TTR is something similar to what we've already seen over the past year in 2021 where they did little things like a good update for April Tunes. They added a couple new trolley games. And then that leads into other things as well as, hey, can we get maybe a new golf course? Can we get a new racetrack? Maybe another couple trolley games or two. And I know the trolley games weren't like a spur of the moment thing. It was something that they created as a showcase like a year and a half prior. And they said they wanted to put it in the game and they never really found a good way or opportunity to do so until then. So unless they have something up their sleeves right now, that probably isn't gonna happen again this year unless they start now and then push it at the end of the year. But I know the team and I know that they can do it, they just need to sit down and do it. If they really wanted to, they have the talent. They could sit down and be like, we're gonna push out five new golf courses. It could be something as simple as we're gonna push out 10 new fish species, right? Like that wouldn't even be that difficult for them to do. They would just need to do it. But the thing is, is that we had a roadmap for TTR for the longest time, where we knew that TTR was working on field offices. And then any of the other little things like fix golf or fix this or release doodle, like we always knew what they had to do. We always knew what they were working on. We always had something to chant like, release this next, where is this? Please add this. And then when it was released, nobody cared like parties. But at least we knew what we wanted, or at least we knew what was missing and knew what they could be working on. At this point, we don't really know. One of the things people are theorizing is that they might start a big new wave of content dealing with field offices, with field offices for Cashbot, Lawbot, and Bossbot. And honestly, I don't see that happening, not because I think it's a bad idea, but because of the way that field offices are already introduced with Cellbot. If they were to just add one more cog type and they made cashbot field offices, they would plague the streets more than ever. And imagine then having four different field offices. And then imagine then having four different types of field offices where you just finish the task line and you start doing the cellbot field office tasks and you gotta go find a cellbot field office for the task and suddenly you can't because there is none, because instead you just have a bunch of lawbot and bossbot and cashbot field offices everywhere. It just wouldn't make sense. So I would be all for some sort of resistance task force for these other cog types, 
but it can't be in the same way that the field offices are made now. They just have to be imaginative and come up with a new way to do it. And they're not even at that step yet, right? Like they are still at step zero there. So is that what they're working on now? Probably not. The other ideas they might be throwing out there are the two that they established previously. Like I said, there aren't a lot of things that were like, when is this coming? Except for two. We do have the cloud that they put on the map, which they theorize to be an eventual new playground. And then they have the executive office tower and boss fight HQ, which they haven't really figured out how they're going to fit into their story at all. But they threw it out there because they do want to make it content eventually. But I think those have been there for so long now that we've just kind of accepted that they're not going to be here anytime soon and that they're not even being worked on. So until they give us a clear idea that this is what they're going to be working on, they're going to be like, yes, we're focusing on the new playground now, or yes, we're focusing on the executive office tower now i'm not going to assume that that's what they're going to be working on this year i think this year is going to be a lot of little updates a lot of little events we may see one tease for maybe like a liberate lawbot event or maybe a resurrection of storm cellbot i could see something like that but aside from that i wouldn't expect anything huge from ttr i think i've stated this before that is okay ttr has earned the right to take a break for a little bit before they start pushing stuff out, before they even have a plan. They hit the end of the road. They finally got to that point where they said they've been trying to get to for a long time now. They're there and they can be like, we've done it, enjoy, relax. And truth be told, the Cellbot field offices gave a lot of content. It kept me busy for a whole month just on one tune. And if I decide to do it on another tune, that's gonna probably take me another whole month. It's given me longevity to my TTR Let's Play. It has done a lot there, so I feel like they probably deserve to have this little bit of time slot where they don't have to do anything for the beginning or at least first half of 2022. But the real last important piece of things that I know that they're gonna release in 2022, the one thing is that final piece of the Cellbot Task Force. They did promise that the max laugh will be 140, and they haven't completely finished out the Cellbot Task Force tasks yet. There is still one more page and one more stamp of approval, and that extra little task line that is at the end that they can still work on, and that I expect to be coming sometime this year. I don't know how much they've worked on that, or how much they plan on working on that, or if they already have it ready and just haven't released it. Probably not, because that just doesn't sound like a them thing to do but i don't anticipate that would take too long i was hoping that maybe we'd see that in early january mid january maybe but hearing that they're not really working on anything this exact second tells me that probably not however we might be able to see something like that for spring a spring break released and now we have this new set of tasks for the cellbot field task force that we can do and give us one extra laugh boost so that is one thing you absolutely should be expecting from them this year at least within like maybe the first half of the year other than that it's all in the air and they can basically do whatever they want any other predictions uh, you might as well just like throw something at the wall and see what sticks right get one of those bingo cards that we're always making and, and just kind of throw a dart at it and be like yeah that's what i'm predicting because there is no set sight line for them right now and that's okay. But that is only one of the two major Toontown servers that we cover here, isn't it? We still have Toontown Corporate Clash, and Toontown Corporate Clash is kind of more putting the glasses on and having a little bit of visibility. Got out these glasses just for that gag. Toontown Corporate Clash set this path for themselves that they're expected to follow. It started when they did the whole event with their Lawbots. They took down the CJ, had a replacement for a little bit, then redesigned all of Lawbot HQ, redesigned all the Lawbots, added a new boss, added an overclock, and then said, why stop there? We have four other cog types in our game that we can do that to as well. That is promised longevity for the game. The question is, which one do they do next and when will it happen? Now, if Corporate Clash can keep up with the same pace that they were on within the past couple of years, we can expect at least some news, if not small updates to a larger update towards later in the year when it comes to this new update idea. This new trail of updates that they're gonna be doing is going through and revamping the boss bots, the cell bots, the cash bots, and eventually the board bots. I do believe the board bots come last, so do not expect that to come this year. Do not expect that to come anytime soon, but that is what I'm expecting to come eventually. This year, they're probably working on one. A lot of people are anticipating that it's boss bots. I don't know exactly. Don't ask me because I don't have that insider information, right? But we do anticipate to be hearing news about that this year. Whether it's going to be a complete overskin of the boss bots, adding some new boss bot type cogs like they did with the needle nose, 
and the shyster, or even adding a complete overclocked of the boss. I don't even expect them to change something like the CEO where it's no longer the CEO, but maybe some improvements and changes to the fight itself so it's not so stagnant, but then adding an overclocked that works in a new different way that also has their own sort of litigation team type of boss there as well would be magnifique. And so for 2022, if we're not getting that released, I anticipate that's at least what they're working on. And that of course, like they do, probably have small little updates here and there and everywhere that you can have fun and play with, such as their April Tunes event, 4th of July, Halloween, Christmas, etc., etc. But then my one request is I still want to see new golf courses and new race courses. Why do we not have that? I think it wouldn't be that hard. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it would be really cool. I feel like that's a little something that would get everybody on the game again. No matter what skill rank you are, no matter how far into the game you are, just hearing that they have like a new golf course that doesn't suck, <clears throat> I think would be fantastic for a game like this. Whether it's TTR or TTCC, I think either of them could take advantage of that. If not both, honestly, I would love to see their own individual takes on these. But that's all my thoughts on where I see Toontown in 2022. It's growing, it is, it's still going for some reason. And you know, I'll still be making content on it while it's here, I'm getting old. <laughs> As for myself, I think I'll just continue doing what I like doing. I always do like making Toontown content, but I'm always on the lookout for other things that are happening around me as well. And I just appreciate you guys being here. I'm gonna make the most of this year and I really hope you do too. This is like my fifth year in a row making this type of video and I appreciate you guys watching every single one of them every single time I make them. But let me know what you guys are anticipating from each of the Toontown servers this year as well as what you'd like to see. And leave a like if you did enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay awesome, God bless, and peace.